Hi, today I'm going to show you how to take HTML code from a text file and cut and paste that code into the HTML layer of a Moodle label or a Moodle page module. And that allows you to have cool customized information, links, and display. Uh, and you can cut and paste someone else's project right into your own Moodle page. Let's find out how to do this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add a page module to my Moodle page. And to save time on this video, I've skipped that step, but just adding a module, like you add anything, is a new page. When you come into adding a page, it just looks like a text box entry. This allows you to enter styled um, text and images and links and things like that, or you can even record videos here if you want. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to click down this expansion of the toolbar I'm going to click on this button, which says, if you hover over it, HTML. This takes you to the HTML layer, which is the actual encoding. And you can see this is what a blank HTML page looks like by default in Moodle. It has um, some code, which if you know some HTML, you can read. And I'm not going to bother reading it to you right now. I'm going to just show you some code that I prepared in another file. I'll delete this and create a total blank. Over in another tab on this browser, I've already visited the Ideas and Innovation CAPS team site on SharePoint. And in this, I've uploaded a file that contains HTML code. It's found here in the Resources on Collaboration folder. I'm clicking into that, and you can see that there is this um, file here that's called collaboration resources and it's a .html file. What that means is that it's a file that's designed that contains code that's designed to be displayed on the web. If you click on this file, it'll show you actually what it looks like on the web since this is a web browser. And now you're looking at the HTML code and it's styled like this. The browser knows how to style it like this. And it contains information about collaboration resources for students who have to do collaborative writing projects. There are a couple different ways where you can get at the underlying code here, but I'm going to just show you one of the most basic ways. If you click on the three dots, you have the option to um, download the file, and you're going to download this file to your computer just to make it easy. My, I don't know if you can see my um, computer defaults to this screen or this window, which allows me to choose where to save my file, and I'm going to just save it on my desktop so I have easy access to it. If I pull up my desktop, oops, if I pull up my desktop, uh, you can see the file is now here down on my computer, my local computer, and when you select it in a Mac, the preview is just nothing. It looks like a blank. If you preview it as a, a file with the file seek feature on the Mac, it actually shows you what it looks like. It automatically parses the HTML and displays it. I'm going to open this file with a text editor. Any text editor will do, including the Apple Notes or the file text edit and if you're on a Windows machine and you can choose how to open this file, you open it with any kind of text editor. Um, anything that handles simple text documents will do. I like to use BB Edit, which is a, called Barebones Edit. It's a text editing soft program, but it automatically displays the HTML in a very structured formatted way. You can see all this is the HTML of the full. Let me try to get the whole thing onto your screen. There we go. I'm just going to select it all by hitting Command A on an Apple, but you could also insert your cursor, of course, and select it all. So, well, actually, I guess I'll do it that way. <laughs> Here I go. I'm Command C in an Apple or Control C in a Windows machine, and you select this text for cutting and pasting. I'm going to just close out of this window. Yep, I'm going to close that. Close out of this desktop window and I'm back on the browser. Now I thought back at that page 
um, module. I've named it collaboration resources because that's what I'm posting in here. And this is the description. Oh, I was almost going to do this as the description. I don't want to do it as the description. I want to do it as the page content. So I'm going to go down here to the page content and select its HTML layer. You know, first you have to expand the toolbar, find the HTML layer. I'm going to just select everything that's in the HTML layer and replace it with the HTML that I just copied from my file. And now I'm clicking Save and Display. And there it is, boom, on Moodle. And the great thing about Moodle is that it takes those video links from YouTube and converts them directly into uh, pre-displayed playable previews, which is pretty cool so that you can uh, watch, for example, Angela's Hi everyone. How My to Do Collaborative Angelica, Writing Right. And thank you for joining me at the Writer's Table with This Is Improv. Today, we're going to be talking about collaborative writing. So we've talked about how everyone likes to write a little bit differently. And that's that. Thanks for watching. I hope this has helped you uh, create a useful module by cutting and pasting HTML from a text file into a page or a label content box uh, on the Moodle page. All right. Have fun Moodling.